You know, not a cockroach. Had I accepted my place, my rapturous role, the beast would be no more, no less, no anything at all. My selfishness tickled the beast's fancy and did laugh the world I knew away. Yet I have had much time to think on my lonesome, much time to wonder. Wonder if the rapture really needs to eat a gemlin queen. Maybe something else will get its catastrophic juices slavering. Something like eyeball soup, the eye of fury, the eye of desire. Pretty gems for our pretty designs. But where could they be? Don't fret now. I have my suspicions. Calm, the sovereign of slaughter. He remains and suffers his delusions right here in the halls of nightmare. Fury is all he knows, so fury calm will have. Dereso, king of swords, damned by desire. Oh, aren't we all? He's down here too, and desire's curse remains his to bear. Go on, not a cockroach. Bring me the crown jewels so that we might wake the rapture and finally put an end to this pestering beast. Bye bye. Yeah, I feel like Tom's dream is gonna be harder to get through than than Doresso's. Because Doresso is desire and Calm is fury. So this is what the inside of a Karui king's head looks like. I hope they're not all like this. I dreamed of my ancestors' halls. They were empty. I dreamed of the north, of an offering left to us by Tukuhama. An offering that will save the Karui. I needed only to take it. I gathered my finest 500. I brought them here. I claimed what Tukuhama had promised me. Oops, clumsy me. the servants of Kitava beneath our heels as we marched across the land. I allowed not one of my 500 to fall. The blood of the ancestors surged in our veins, and each and every one of my warriors earned Tukohama's mark upon their skin. We descended into the heart of Rayclast, and there he came to me, Tukohama. He asked of me a sacrifice. I gave it willingly. My ex fell 500 times, the jade drinking its fill of Kardui blood. Tukohama was pleased. Wait, did he use the 500 as sacrifices? Yeah, I should probably stay away from those streams of lava. Now 
That's what you get for losing your temper, Calm. Yeah, I get it. Cause calm sounds like calm. Get it? It's a funny joke. Laugh. Pride the fury from calm's dead hand, did you? Or is it dead again hand? Or re dead hand? Or is undeath really just death with benefits? In which case, you didn't kill Calm because he was already dead. It's all a bit of a grey area, really. And completely beside the point. Here's to hoping Duresso's dream is a lot more tame. Also, this carry-on golem is really powerful, and it buffs my skeletons and stuff. Are we talking about the same Mervale that was in Mervale's caverns that I killed earlier?
melt in the sand of the Grand Arena, awaiting the killing blow. I raised my eyes to look upon my death. Instead, I saw her. Her veil. Her beautiful eyes met mine. And I knew she saw me too. I turned my opponent's strike and killed the man with his own dagger. Fighting had always been about survival, the primal instinct to kill or be killed. Now, the fight became about something else. Ah, so Duresto's a simp. so that my arms felt they might snap with every impact. All the while, I studied his face, watching for that moment when he began to doubt. It took an hour, but finally, it was there. Burning with pain, empty with exhaustion, I stepped inside his faltering swing, and I slit the giant's throat. I did not take my victory back. I knelt in the sun, looked to my veil, and cried out for my lady's hand in marriage. From that day forth, I wore the crown of swords upon my head and the ring of eternal love upon my finger. A king of swords is nothing if he cannot defend his crown. Yo, this man has actual swords flying around him. I'm sorry to have to break this to you, Dorisso, but she's not real. Yeah, I don't know what happened first. Did she become a siren after? He died? Fury and desire together again. Lovely and lovely. Facets so shiny, replete with the vim of murdered souls. My Malachi did the crafting. Beautiful work. General Aedis did the murdering. Equally beautiful work in its own juicy way. Num Num's time, my little rapture. Have you ever been to the end of the world before, my king? Asked the blackest monkey. No, I have not, realized the monkey king. There is my reason to go where you go, be where you be, my king, concluded the blackest monkey in a voice as warm and welcoming as death. Do you know who wrote that? Not a cockroach? Victario Navalius, the people's poet of Sam. He was my friend, and I betrayed him. Took his love and burned it before his eyes. Now I am betrayed. My heart burned black by the one man I loved. Malachi. He's found a new heart, you see. A beast's heart to cuddle up to, to keep him warm and safe at the end of the world. Today, I remind Malachi of his betrayal. Today, it is his turn to burn. Yeah, hopefully. Malachi. 
Malachi's devices. His creations. He loved them all. Not me. He betrayed me then. Said he loved me. Then said he wanted me to die. He betrays me now. Let me suffer. Let me wither. Am I the one and only mistake that you ever made, Malachi? Yes, that's me. Diala, the Gemling Queen. Malachi's misdemeanor. Make him regret his mistake. Not a cockroach. Tear open the beast's black heart. Rip Malachi from his filthy little nightmare. Cut him. Crush him. Burn him from existence. He deserves no better. And I deserve no worse. No love for me. No love. No love. No love. It's not every day you get to walk into a living, breathing nightmare. Ugh, it's made of flesh and eyeballs.